Hi my lovelies, Sagita here and I have a little uh, journal edition. <laughs> I have small one this time and little uh, journal as addition to my previous uh, non-embellished non -embellished or blank journal. So this is blank journal guys, okay. I uh, have been inspired by myself because I loved that uh, pattern cover so much that I made a small one and I made a blank one. So, 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 uh, size wise, I will tell you it is four and a half by six and a half. Six and a half, seven because of these edges. Right, my lovelies. Uh, closure a ribbon is a cotton fabric. I just sew it in the center together. Right, a cover is a cardstock cover. And uh, under this um, pattern paper is book pages, and then I glued. Oh, and then I glued uh, quite a few pattern papers over, and the same is on the back, and the same is inside cover as well. Oh, is this uh, coming from? Oh, that's for. Oh, sorry, guys. I. S oh, Away. and inside of the covers as well right uh, shall I just zoom in just quickly okay right uh, I used a little bit just so just a little bit on as a background then I have cheesecloth I haven't used cheesecloth for a while so choose cheesecloth uh, covers work similar to previous one with this uh, pattern paper. I so loved it so much, so I thought I can make uh, some more. Right, so cheesecloth. This is a uh, printable from a uh, Pinterest. I put it on a, um, a chipboard and little uh, brats as well to look like a vintage one. And then I attached with uh, tape a little flower and a uh, spine I covered with cotton fabric which is coffee stained and a little bit gessoed over and stamped it over as well. Right, this is when this is a back. I just just sort over a little bit because I didn't want to use this lovely pattern. Edges are really grungy and they are quite hard. And front are the same. I sort it around twice with a sewing machine. Right, inside this is how it's going to be. And very inside of papers are very similar to my, my previous uh, blank journals. So we are having a tea stain paper, a little uh, punch paper with uh, punched edges, and then we have torn paper, just torn one, and then we have patterned and lined paper as well. So in a total, I didn't even count, guys. Twenty-two, so it's forty-four pages, forty-four pages or eighty-eight sides. So it's quite a fine journal. All right, this stained. Each page has little bit of um, script stamp. Each page has um, sewing and little threads are hanging down there. If you don't like it, you can just cut them off. And each page has a little peony as well. So this is how it looks. Very nice, full pages. None uh, are is like half. It's just just for writing, just for notes, or you can embellish it yourself. It's completely up to you. 
So it's quite enough to put in your in your purse or somewhere you know nice and 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 neat. Uh, Kaba is quite hard one. It's, it doesn't really like bend easily. So I put quite a quite a few layers of glue on. So guys, this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, and this is going to be for made to order. Particular this one. I will put up on Etsy right now. It is on a sale. And uh rest on as soon as as, as usually I do. Uh, as soon as this one is going to be sold, I will change for made to order. Which means you are buying, but I am making for you. So it's not like straight away in the next few days I'm posting you, but I have to make it. But it's going to be the same. So guys, and obviously I'm just putting as well a shipping price together with packaging and journal is in, in, one, in one price. So this is one very quick, very small, but I love it so much. So thank you so, so much, guys, for your previous comments. I really, really love your comments, guys. So thank you, thank you so much. And uh, enjoy your weekend, because spring is like really is springing here. And a lot of gardening work to do. So, okay, my lovelies, enjoy your time and see you very soon. Bye!